All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some Jeskai midrange. So this was a donation deck uh, where I had a request to make a uh, Jeskai deck. And there we go, there's our, our mana base over there. And I messed up the Sulphur Falls, my bad. Making a Jeskai, a Jeskai midrange deck is... Oh, I just, I just threw it over in the sideboard. <laughs> was it? It's kind of challenging of like what to do with it, uh, especially I was trying to like find a way to like put in a bunch of new cards into it, and I don't know. I, I'm basically just going with like Boros Angel Splash Teferi, which is a you know a reasonable deck. Um, we have our Rekindling Phoenix is a powerful card that I wanted to play. Same with Gideon Black Blade. It's it's hard to build a Jeskai deck that's not control kind of thing of like just trying to play like a, a mid range kind of deck. Um, yeah, you could play could play Feather plus Dive Down. That is true. Could We could be going that way um, also. But then it's like, what else are we really doing with Feather besides Dive Down? Like, are, is it just going to be, I mean, going to make a dedicated Feather deck kind of thing? Um, so I like what we got going on here. So we have, we have a deck that's kind of slanted towards beating aggro decks with all of these uh, good blockers between, you know, basically every creature that's not a Danto Vanguard in this deck is a good blocker. And so we are, you know, slanted that way. Our Gideon gets to give our some of our creatures lifelink. Um, I wanted to pair Gideon with Resplendent Angel. I know it doesn't quite give five lifelink, um, but that's still just a, a good pairing whenever we can put it with something else. Um, and we're, we're basically using our, our blue because Teferi is just... Can get us the card draw that we need. Um, so if if we're slanted to beat aggressive decks, we need elements to beat control decks, and that's what our blue helps us out in. You know, we have our Teferis that get us like that card advantage against other blue decks. We have the Dovin's Vetoes, which are just you know amazing, counter anything, can't be countered. So we have more of those in the board. Um, we even get we get Teferi in the board as well, and it, and another disdainful stroke. So that's that's what our blue is really getting us. And I kind of feel like trying this time wipe. This is just a new card that I haven't played at all, uh, so I wanted to try to try this card and see how um, you know see how this plays. You know, we haven't haven't uh, tried this one yet. Uh, another new card that I have not played at all is Sarkin the Masterless, where just a another threat against control, where it's just going to be five mana. Whenever it enters, I'm going to be doing the minus three. So it'll just like make a four, four. So five mana, four, four flyer um, instead of like Aurelia that's a five, five flyer where that's not really a big difference against control. But it also comes attached to this uh, Planeswalker that, um, you know, can activate and, and turn into a dragon itself. Um, and yeah, we it could work with like if we have a Gideon or a Teferi on the battlefield or this Teferi, if we have any of those, we could turn those into Dargons also. So that's what we got going on. Um, I really, I've been higher on Adanto Vanguard than I usually am. I Adanto Vanguard is a kind of a card that I play a decent amount because the White Angel decks need like a way to a good threat against control, and it's a it's a two mana card that's a good threat against control, but it's just so bad against all sorts of creature decks. However, new Gideon, Gideon Blackblade, has made Adanto Vanguard a lot better against even the creature decks. Those two pair really well together because you can give the Adanto Vanguard lifelink, and then whenever it's attacking, it can just attack for three lifelink all the time, and you can basically pay the four life because that paying four life only turns into paying one life, and you know you have your indestructible creature there. Um, so yeah, so there, that's what we got kind of going on here. Um, you play an extra time raveler. The the problem is I don't really have sorceries. You know I'm not going to have like these lava coils in against controls. So, like when I'm bringing in uh, to fairy time raveler, the tick up does just nothing, and so it's it's really just like the top part and the minus. It's okay. I, I think two's fine. There. Three daredevils is kind of a lot. Maybe I want another black blade instead of a. Daredevil. Yeah, let's get another. Let's get one more black blade over in the board. Let's do that. That card's awesome. All right, 
let's get to the games. So, just guy mid range, gonna go on over here to our constructed queue. Play until we win five or lose two. I'm not sure how Just Guy Control is gonna shake out. I I haven't really seen any reason to like Just Guy Control over Esper Control yet. All right, updating the deck list. Hand looks reasonable. That's what we do. Ooh. Well, this is not a, a good hand against a Wilderness Reclamation deck, which it looks like that's what we're playing against. The good news is if they have... Let's play another one of these. They could have Syncopate, which would be annoying, but if they have Sinister Sabotage, they can't counter this. I hope they find another opt that now they can't play. <laughs> no reclamation, no reclamation. Hooray, no reclamation. Phoenix is hitting a little harder than Resplendent Angel. Life gain doesn't really matter. It's more difficult for them to deal with with removal and stuff also. Attack. I'm excited about the Teferi Timebenders we got in our sideboard. I've not played Bola Citadel yet. That's that's on my short list of decks to make. Making an Abzan Citadel deck. Um, that'll probably be tomorrow. Just you know, our, our schedule's a little full today. I was I was thinking I was gonna be making that today. Yeah, X Wage Point decks working. Um, like, you just have to try again, basically. It's a popular command, and so a little bit ago, um, somebody else put it in. So if if you ever do exclamation point deck and it doesn't work, you just have to wait like 30 seconds to a minute and try again. So this thing hits hard. Uh, that card's kind of cool. Uh, that one's really cool. This one's awesome. This one's not cool. I guess I'm going to be playing some Daredevils, too. Take out our top end angels. And let's give this a try. Uh, donos are clear for tomorrow. Yeah, you wanna if you wanna spot J Jack, you're good. Just let me know, you know, when you want me to play. If you want me to like lead off with the deck or or what. Clear for takeoff. 
I think we can draw some blue mana. I like... That's not blue mana. I like Tithe Taker into Gideon. Quite a bit. That's blue mana. And I think I'm going to do Tithe Taker over Vanguard so that... To try to help my Gideon uh, resolve. So that it, it resolves easier. Like, no Sinister Sabotage doesn't counter Gideon. Mm. Never mind. Realize they could have their own negate. I don't I don't want this wilderness reclamation to resolve. I am here to aid in the assault. Right. I believe in you, friend. Should have gave that lifelink. Nice. You've been spamming the Orzhov midrange deck from yesterday. Loving Gideon. Yeah, Gideon is incredible. We get to get rid of this Wilderness Reclamation in a little bit. Prepare for battle! And double Dovin's Veto. So next turn, I, I could minus six and exile the Wilderness Reclamation. Man, this card's so good. Yeah, the Bio Essence Hydro was much better than I thought it would be in that band deck. <laughs> I don't have a Parhelion 2 deck now. Hey, we got a new subscriber. Minty wins. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for bringing that hype to the chat. Sub number 13 of the day. Nah. Just, nah. Alright, so let's attack for six, put them down to two. Get rid of that thing. Good triumphs this day. That's right, good triumphs this day. As Reclamation is exiled. Yeah, Dovin's Veto, real strong. Just better negate. That was just a... That was good, uh... Yeah, sweet animation. That was just a good, uh... Good line, too, against Wilderness Reclamation. Good triumphs this day. Oh, Gideon's incredible. Yeah, Snarset Reversal would... I mean, Narset Reversal would just pick the Dovin... It would make you put the Dovins back in your hand, right? So it would, it would get rid of it. It prevents it from resolving. Yeah. Mm. I need more white mana. This is a really sweet looking curve. Tithe Taker, Gideon Blackblade, Rekindling Phoenix, Teferi, Hero of Dominaria. I like it. So let's draw a Plains. Plains. Didn't work. Let's go with this Adanto Vanguard here. Against... Basic island deck. I kind of feel like this is mono blue. Which I guess Vanguard's not very good against mono blue. 
Oh well. We get Tithe Taker in play also, so we just gained one point of damage by leading with Vanguard, so rewarded. I was playing uh, ranked matches with the Aristocrats, so I was just playing a bunch. And we went five and three. So is this mono blue or is this Drake's? I didn't see what they discarded to. Yeah, I didn't see what they discarded. Did anybody see what they discarded? They are Drake's. Uh, we dock mid range has been has dominated standard over like the last five years or so. The last. Like, just last format had... Uh, control was just so good the last format that it turned it into control or aggro. But mid-range is traditionally the powerhouse at standard. They discarded an island. Oh, so it could really be either one. Hmm. So it could be mono blue or... Drake's. I don't, really want to, I don't really know what I want to do against either of them. I kind of want to just keep it the same. I don't really have stuff against Mono Blue. Or stuff against Drakes. Yeah, that's true. It's got to be it's got to be Drakes, right? Or just how they're playing. I don't know. I don't really know what I'd want to do against Drakes, though. There is a very off chance it is Mono Blue that just kept some ops. We yeah, got Time Wipe, Direfully Daredevil, um, Settle the Wreckage, maybe more Dovin's Vetoes to help Time Wipe or Settle resolve. Those are all pretty reasonable cards. I like I like our cards kind of in this matchup, though, too. Ah, so it did turn into. To turn into mono blue. The surprise mono blue. See if they have four counter spells or not. <laughs> Cousin Otto with donating 500 drakes here. Now I said if they are not drakes, I'm do I'm donating 500 drakes. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for the cheers. So uh, yeah, so it, it was a, it was close. This does look like a Drake though, right? Like that's a it's a pretty big Drake. There's a way for it to resolve. It didn't though. Alright, so Mono Blue, let's definitely get these other vetoes in and the the uh, Teferi Time Ravelers. Um I mean Gideon seems awesome against Mono Blue. Clarions are probably pretty cool. I don't like Vanguard because of Trickster. The Trickster Vanguard combo is not very good. We don't need Big Teferi. 
Um, this is 61. Maybe I don't need all four Gideon Black Blades. The Cray, welcome. <laughs> Y'all are voting for Mono Blue now? Yeah, maybe I don't need all four Gideons. Gideon's just so good. I don't know, this card's insane. So good. But I don't really have anything else to take out unless I'm taking out like a Clarion. Alright, we're going three Gideon. Alright, so we're on the play. We got a bunch of flyers. Um, like our chances here. We actually know what they're doing and we sideboarded appropriately. Can we draw some lands? Draw some lands. Let's draw some lands. Let's draw some lands. Hooray! Let's counter Curious Obsession. Alright, no Curious Obsession. I think I really need to tap out. It's so basically what I'm worried about is if I like, you know, play Aurelia, they counter it. Yeah. Or Claren. Like if I play either of these, they definitely counter it. And then if they untap and play play Curious Obsession, then that's like how I lose. still have a spell pierce for the clarion okay no spell pierce Do I want to play Gideon or Aurelia? I guess I want Gideon. Let me lead the charge into darkness. All right. Yeah, I want Gideon to start to get up towards six loyalty. There, um, we could Clarion away the Phoenix also. 
and so it could come back. Oh no, because it loses all his abilities, so we wouldn't get the we wouldn't get the egg. All right, two and zero. This deck's pretty sweet. Yeah, that was kind of an early concede, wasn't it? But like they're they would have had to just play Tempest Gin with no protection at all. With me having the other Teferi, because they couldn't play anything instant speed anymore. Um, but I mean they still would have been fine, of course. We didn't have anything, but they didn't really know that they would have been fine. And we would have been gaining a lot of life the next turn with the lifelink lifelink of Gideon. You know, we could have like played Aurelia and just not you know, use the Clarion for just lifelink. Don't really need to deal the three damage. Grixis control we played yesterday. Um, you know, we played we played like the the update to I don't need a lava coil that. We played the updated version of Grixis, you know, the disinformation campaign update uh, yesterday. It didn't go well, but yeah, we got a, a new version that we're going to try out uh, today. But yeah, the legends decks um yeah, we're going to be, I'm kind of planning on a day, like I'm thinking Sunday, of just like all legend deck Sunday. Yeah, I'm thinking Sunday, just a bunch of legends decks. Really, it looks like it plays some pretty good defense. First team all defense back in its day. Soulfly Flash was was really good. Uh, the Vivian Vivian has been awesome. We played against a Vivian deck with our Mardu Aristocrats too, and just couldn't handle it. Um, having all of your creatures have instant speed is really really powerful. I've never played Elder Scroll Legends before. More defense. Defense. Yeah, you can have both. Like, you can have the separate Nicol Boluses on the battlefield at the same time. Yeah, Anissa deck. Yeah, we need to make that too. All right, they're going wide. Are you playing the the new uh, Grixis Control Macron that we're gonna play after this? Is that we were talking about? Where you said you just play Grixis and okay, yeah, the new one for today. Played three and one on all of them. 
All right, can we survive? 12, 15, or no, that's 8, 11, 14. Dang it, I'm at 14. Uh, I have to chomp with a resplendent angel. That's annoying. We still have, we still have lethal, so it's all good. But that's annoying. We don't get. It, they're all indestructible. It doesn't matter which one I block. Oh, you have Conclave Tribunal too? No, don't have Conclave Tribunal too. No. Uh, we were gonna have lethal. Jeez. All right. Well, we need to draw Aurelia then. I mean, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't matter if I Teferi get it back. Dang. I thought we had that. That was a perfect last two cards for our opponent to have. I, I thought we had that one for sure. All right, Settle's coming on in. Do I want... Oh, I got all these things? Heck yeah. Let's say, do I want Dovin's Veto? But maybe not. All right, Vanguard, get on out of here. Teferi out. Hmm. One Teferi back in. Get rid of a Conclave Tribunal. Could just play more Dovin's Vetoes instead of Teferi. So I want to ferry specifically to deal with the Conclave Tribunal. Sarkin can't do that. Ugh. <clears throat> I'm just going to play an extra Dovin's Veto. <clears throat> well, we're playing against aggro decks, which is why Teferi doesn't look as good. Teferi is like a card that we need against control. You know, like we play creatures, they play their Kaya's Wrath. <clears throat> they tap out for Kaya's Wrath, we untap, play Teferi, and get the card advantage from there. I don't believe our our opponent's playing Boros, even though they are hashtag Boros for life. A very, a very wintry Boros. Draw a land. Hmm.
Yeah, we could coil marshal. I don't love that being my only thing to do this turn. Let's see that or just like play like Tithe Taker can chump this Adanto Vanguard, save us some life. So we're just doing this. Yeah, I could have just drawn a land. That was my fault. Good point. Uh, uh, uh. You do not have to fight alone. But you do have to Strength pass go. Is born of you have to collect two hundred dollars. That's why I wanted the land so I could coil plus veto. That's what I would have done if we would have drawn the land at last turn. Actually, I should probably be playing Black Blade here. Just giving this Resplendent Angel lifelink. And then they attack Black Blade. Just gains a lot of life. <laughs> no, that, that, that Bansy Reverend's deck was not my deck, no. Be strong. Well, we have to draw land here. <clears throat> of course. It's my bad. I would have just played Gideon last turn. Instead of playing an angel, give that life link. They attack and kill Gideon. I'm at like plenty of life. I get to have my sell the wreckage up. That decision definitely cost me that playing Resplendent Angel instead of Gideon. My bad. Yeah, mono white mid range with yeah, just like our, our mono white angels that we just had uh, last format. Um, New Gideon is a big upgrade over Benelish Marshall for that deck. It's there's not like a, a huge reason to play mono white, but if you if you do play mono white, you do get to play. You can play like four mobilized districts. You know, you don't need Benelish Marshall. You don't need to have like all sorts of white mana sources. Like even if you have. If you're playing like 25 lands, you can go like 18 white, like maybe maybe 19 white, and then like 19 white and six utility lands. For a different deck, I'm not talking about for mono white aggro. I'm talking about for a mono white angels deck. I'm talking about different decks. New Gideon is a big upgrade over Benelish Marshall in that deck. Oh yeah, the district's really good. Yeah, it's just another threat um, that like whenever a removal heavy deck kills all your other stuff. Well, this is our anti-control hand, not anti-wild growth walker. <laughs> I don't really have anti-wild growth walker. Uh, this is where losing that last match is gonna really hurt us because wild growth walker just goes crazy. Yeah, I can crack packs again now, Jelly. Yeah, back to crack pack in time.
to play. So I'm going to be playing Tithesaker here and holding up Veto for a Vivian. Yeah, if you want to replace Resplendent Angel, you could play History Banalia. It's a card you could play instead. If we win this game, though, it's going to be on the back of Resplendent Angel, where History Banalia would give us no chance to, to win this. Resplendent Angel turning into a 5 5 lifelinker gives us a chance to win this. I have. I don't know why our opponent's not attacking with that 3 5. We're, we're doing good because our opponent's not attacking with that thing. I guess they don't want me attacking back with the Danto Vanguard, I guess. <laughs> nah. Devin's Veto's nice. They better not have another, another finality, so they need a second finality to have a chance here. I think the only card that saves them is a second finality. So please, no second finality. Please, no second finality. All right, no second finality. All right. Well, Dovin's Veto was good. Definitely want Disdainful Stroke. This is my time wipe matchup. And settle. I could see Black Blade not being as good here. I could see us not being able to protect Black Blade. What if we take out Black Blade and Danto Vanguard and play Deafening Clarion also? Kind of like that. I do not have any updated Vanifar decks for War of the Spark. No. Deck we're playing Jeskai Midrange. Where's Mardu Aristocrats? So I was just doing. Um, you will think of this hand. I keep it. It's a good control deck hand. Oh, I thought that was, I thought that was a sacred foundry that we just drew. All right, uh, Mario Aristocrats is ready to go as soon as I just type something here. Hallowed Fountain, be thy name. 
That is a good draw step. Why did I just play that and shock that in? I don't know. I didn't need to. I was kind of thinking about just putting that in tapped and then decided to play it. Yeah, so definitely did not need to shock that. So we'll see if that two life comes back to haunt us. Yeah, I think it's possible to make a colorless deck. I think that... I think that you don't really gain anything by being completely colorless, and you can just, like, you can play one color. Uh, you can be, like, a m mostly colorless deck playing, like, uh, blue, for example, for, um, no, like, let's the see big Tezzeret. Oh, so it's going to be like that, huh? Come to me. Yes. Take out, yes. Take out, negate him, put in De uh, Devin's veto in your Esper control. Yeah, here, Jade Light. What do you think you're gonna use that fine to get creatures back from the graveyard? No, 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 no. Ah, most wounds can heal. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Correct. Yeah, I play standard. Yeah. Yep, I'm a Magic Arena streamer. Playing standard every day. There's one mythic that you cannot crack from Pax and War. The Tezzeret is not in Pax. This isn't a fight you can win. So I tuck Harpooner and kill Vivian. I mean, I could tuck Wild Growth also. And then my Teferi dies on the way back. It's either that or just like tuck the Vivian. Or just tick up and start drawing. I just like how close we are to killing this, Vivian. But I guess that does mean our, our Teferi's gonna die. Um, that's okay, though, if our Teferi dies, right? Yeah, I think that's a good trade. Not so fast. I love that block. Come on, block it. No, block it. Dang it. I always survive. You'll see. That was so close to them blocking. <laughs> so close. You Ow. just let me know if you're up for round two. Another Vivian? Hooray, no other Vivian. I'm a little worried about Counterspell, which is why I'm going with Phoenix over Teferi. What do they have? Yeah, I like, yeah, I mean, I, uh, so why am I just on Arena? Um, I like Standard a lot more than Modern, is one. I like 
I like uh, playing Arena visually. Um, I like playing it like the the games are faster. Uh, like t just like not sitting there tapping all your lands all the time and everything, and the format's better. It's basically every single thing about Arena and Standard I like more than Modern. There's there's nothing that I like about Modern more. I'm known always been for a, my excellent timing. I've always been a, a big time mid range pace. player. I like mid range magic. And that's what standard is. Standard is lots of mid range stuff. Where modern's just a lot of non interactive decks, and I don't love it. I don't think I really attack here. So, like, if I attack, they block with Harpooner, trade Finality away the Phoenix. <laughs> Mono Green Tron was the first video you saw me, saw me in. Nice. I played Mono Green Tron a couple of times last year. Of course, the Green White Company being my go-to modern deck. All right, so we'll do these trades if they want a finality away. The Tithe Takers, you can't. They can. Um, I guess it depends on how you define pro player. I've been playing Magic as my sole income for the last two-ish years. About. Green Company is not good enough in the current modern metagame anymore. That's too bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to be playing the, yeah, I'll certainly play the Arena. Yeah, I mean, I, I just really like Arena, and so, yeah, I'll be playing um, the Arena format where, uh, you know, Arena Modern or whatever no time they're going to call it, where the cards will rotate out. Plus, brand it's a brand new format. Like, it will be. Brand new formats are always a lot of fun to build around. They are just going to be able to kill Aurelia with Harpooner. Yeah, testing testing different standard decks. This one here, this is a, a donation deck. The donation decks are you know decks that people donate to see, um, but then the other ones like Mardu Aristocrats and the Grixis Control for today, those are two standard decks that testing out for the new format. Um, competitive decks there. All right, so they can f they can clear the board by going finality harpooner, but that's not it's not the worst for me. They had to do the finality first to make make the Aurelia. They could have made, done the finality first, make the Aurelia an O one, and then play the Harpooner and kill it. 
Unless they're just... They had to have a reason to cast down this Phoenix, right? I'm fine with them casting Find and getting back Diva Sanity plus something else. I'm fine with that. That means my Phoenix stays alive. Because, you know, we got good answers for, to Diva Sanity for days. <clears throat> Dang, I was hoping they were going to pass. Oh, Hostage Taker, that one's a problem. Alright, now that one's a big problem. Wow. What a card. Hold that thought. What a card. Yo, this time wipe. Wow. Yoink. And now they, they don't get to they don't get to hostage taker my Phoenix anymore. We just get to sit back and ultimate this to fairy. Wow. That's why that's why we put the cards in our deck so we can draw them. That's why we put the cards in our deck. Hurry! Man, that that is the fullest of values right there. With that time wipe. Incredible. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, Jelly. Thanks for the cheers. Hey, Judge Fudge. Yeah, we could make a, a Jeskai mid range deck. We're doing it. Three and one, and I probably should have won that match that I lost. I made a wrong decision in there. So for the Grixis control that we are um, going to play next, sh should I use the same YouTube thumbnail for that, even though as the same as yesterday, even though it's a, a different deck? <clears throat> should we switch up the arts for the YouTube thumbnail? Um, should I still call it, you know, just Grixis control? It's a I could call it Grixis control V2 for like version two, maybe. All right, blue black, blue black, blue black decks can struggle against a Danto Vanguard. We'll see if they. We'll see if playing a Danto Vanguard though was the moment my opponent was craving, and it looks like it was. So it'd be like, it'd be like that. Down, 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 down. Fungal infection. It's not seem like our opponent's gonna struggle against the Danto Vanguard. Yeah, 
Yeah, we could got we could not get more punished for discarding that lava coil. Could not get more punished for discarding lava coil or for playing a Danto Vanguard over Tithe Taker. Right on schedule. Reverse. Yeah, we played it. We updated it yesterday. We played. We played the Grixis discard deck yesterday. Tomb Whisper. Um, I called it. I called it Grixis Control yesterday, but. What? I don't know. I don't know what now. I thought they were going to be surveilling and drawing the hostage taker. I guess they're still doing that. I dealing with this Doom Whisperer. We are not dealing with the Doom Whisperer. All right, disdainful stroke, yes, please. Direfully Daredevil, yes, please. Um, time wipe looks kind of cool. The fairy looks cool. I think our opponent can deal with Adanto Vanguard just fine. Black Blade looks awesome. What are the other four cards I want to take out? Some of these flyers. So I want all these Dovin's vetoes? Maybe not. I think you can only claim one code per account. Tide Taker also just looks like it do just doesn't really matter. Isn't Return to Nature the, the better Naturalize? So I, I don't think there's any reason to play the Naturalize. Like, they're both instants and stuff, right? So yeah, could you do, for the other Grixis, do the Grixis control V2 and have 
uh, Thieva Sanity and New Bolas. This information campaign is so good against removal. <laughs> I will fight for my friends. I can't beat either of those cards. Can't beat any of these cards. Maybe I should just cut lava coils. These lava coils are horrendous. Then our opponent tosses shakers and Thieves Sandies get us. I just want to draw Gideon. Why can't I draw Gideon? The time has come. Gideon's so good. Hey, there's Gideon. What's up, Gideon? A tad bit late. Now they got a a big spooky nightmare demon. That thing really is a nightmare demon. Over there. Attack. Please stop. Guess I'm discarding Dawnbringer, I guess. Decisive action is needed. What do you What did you minus one for? Oh, they thought they could grab the nightmare demon again? I love Disinformation Campaign. That card is so brutal. I walk a righteous path. I believe in you. There is always another fight. Just look at this. They have a million cards. We have nothing. Card to draw. I can no longer stand by and watch. Time is much more malleable than people think. I will lend you my strength. Go, Gideon, go. They have a moment of craving. <laughs> it did it didn't matter what we chose, vigilance and like all that was going away, we couldn't attack with Shalai. It didn't matter. Shalai had Share in my light. Summoning sickness. Yeah, I mean, there's a... I mean, it depends on what kind of deck you want to play. There's tons of cards that are safe to craft with War of the Spark. Just depends on, on what you want to play. There are a lot of really good cards. 
Like this one right here is incredible, for example. See, that's I don't think you can keep a land for dispersal here against a disinformation campaign deck that just like makes you discard it kind of thing. I don't, I don't think you keep the land. They definitely got some good spells from us because they did not choose Gideon or Aurelia. So they took something over Gideon and something else over Aurelia. So we, we should still be very dead like we have been. We know they have a moment of craving. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. Let's skip to the good part. I'm not blocking because of Moment of Craving. Yeah, I can minus six attack, put them down to three. Shalai has summoning sickness again. If you, if y'all are thinking that I can just kill them with Shalai, that's one. Two, they have the moment of craving; they get to gain life. Justice is served. I I don't think we have any chance to get this last three points, and I'm surprised we've made it this we've made it this close, honestly. Yeah, Gideon Curse did a ton for us. I'm, I'm surprised Gideon made it this close of a game. You need to slow down. Would have drawn a time wipe. Would have played another turn, but yeah. Cool, Chris. Yeah, glad you're enjoying the Gruel midrange deck. That one felt really good yesterday. All right, so four one or sorry three two sorry three two with the deck. Um, That Demir matchup, we you just really saw how good disinformation campaign was. We had some some people were saying, "Oh, disinformation campaign's not good enough for standard." Yesterday, 
whenever we're playing the Grixis deck and Disinformation Campaign just won won both of those games, you know, by itself. That card was just incredible. Um, you know, got really punished the game one, discarded the Lava Coil, kept the Flyers, and then they, right after that, they dropped Thief of Sanity and had removal for the Flyers. Um, you know, that was that's how Magic goes sometimes. And then game two, we just ended up drawing all of our Lava Coils, and they just campaigned away all of our removal spells, and then played Thief of Sanity's after that. And, but oh well, uh, we had we also lost to Mono White, which. Felt like I, th I really thought I was winning that. Uh, kind of both of those games. Um, opponent had like the the two cards they needed. Game one to win what I thought was where we were at an unlosable spot. And uh, game two, I played the wrong three drop. Should have played a Gideon instead of a Splendid Angel. And we could have maybe stayed alive with a, a Settle the Wreckage. But... Anyway, deck was pretty good. Some close losses, a lot of good wins. Um, you know, Gideon Blackblade is awesome. Uh, the Dovin's Veto were really, really strong for us. That's like a new card that that was really strong. Like we only won our game one because against Soltai because of double Dovin's Veto. You know, Dovin's vetoed the Nissa on five and then the Finality on six, and was able to kill them after that. And then we played against a Team of Reclamation deck that it just seemed. Like we, you know, like we just had these Dovin's vetoes. So they couldn't, they couldn't resolve their their spell. Um, but pretty good deck. All right, so uh, thanks for the donation there for uh, Jeskai Midrange, um, for Judge Fudge. Thank you so much. All right, so if you are watching this video later on YouTube, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you hit the subscribe button for uh, be able to stay tuned for all the other videos, and hope to see you for another one. Take care.